Why Express. can you not marry? Oh, you're a eunuch. Well, that really sucks for you. So that betrothal's kind of never going to... Sorry, uh... <laughs> Sorry Knut. I mean, I guess... You lost your Knut. <laughs> yeah. Knut lost his Knut. Uh, my man, definitely not going to be getting married to anyone anytime soon, I don't think. So, what happened? Indeed, just complex sieges, faction... Okay, our... our... My guy has finished his task to increase control, so we're going to make you increase more control, because that's a lot of red. Uh, probably won't actually make him do it down here, because I don't really care too much about down there. Yeah. And it's going to take, like, five years each, so I'll try and just keep the, like, core area of our stuff uh, a little bit happier. Oh, more smallpox. Uh-oh. Ingild has also got smallpox Ingild. now. So we can say be cautious uh, to, the, to our really questionable physician not not that great <laughs> the time has come for drastic measures or we can let our son make the choice what do you think we should do chats i must put this to you do we trust our son do we want to tell the physician to go hog wild or do we want to tell the physician be cautious on the one hand we don't care what happens to Ingel. i mean <laughs> he, he'll he'll probably like die Otherwise, like smallpox is pre. pretty Everyone bad. is saying trust our son to okay, make the his choice own is up to my son. choices in life. And we'll uh, we'll just hope he decides smartly. Someone says the well, his wife recovered saying, from the smallpox at least. Oh, That's nice. Well, many people are saying the doctor knows what's best, and our daughter Gurley uh, has uh, was uh, judging uh, some criminal that was locked up. Oh. Uh, gains the trait arrogant. Or we can try and make her compassionate or callous. Yeah, she can be arrogant. Just leave her be arrogant. It's fine. I mean, you're a rural kid. You, you deserve to... Yeah, a little arrogance. A little arrogance in our rural kids is fine. It's because we're prestigious. They are superior. They are North prestigious. Line. And they are just... I mean, they're just better than other people, really, is how I would phrase it. Just better in general. Just better in general. How's our war going? Not too bad. We're uh, nearly... Nearly done with it. Just uh, got to siege down all these little bits of things. Oh, we can we can just kill them. Bits and bobs. The bits and the bobs. Get murdered, get murdered, get murdered, <laughs> get murdered. We're living a nice long <laughs> life. For we a, are impressively old. For a Norse king who spends we do, we, we, we all do, of his okay, time we, we do have poor health, to be fair. We are ailing. Oh. Uh, uh, but like... And and these only counter penalties, of which we have none, but our base health is probably not great because of our age now. So uh, we we probably should expect to die somewhat soon. But we have our shit together. For exactly, our, our succession term. is pretty uh, pretty secure right now, which is quite nice, uh, as opposed to everything getting thrown to the winds from politicians. So I'm uh, I'm fairly confident in uh, what we've got lined up right now, at least. Wonderful. Look at that. My court physician shows me that all the bodies have been properly disposed of and the threat is gone. Yes. Uh, all of uh, all the people that got smallpox have finally recovered and are healthy. Uh, there's a couple of revolts going on with some of our uh, vassals, I think, but yeah. that's fine. That's they'll fine. figure it out. They'll, they'll work it out between them, goddammit. I'm not here to micromanage you. <laughs> the whole point of you being a vassal to me is that I don't have to deal with all your problems directly. Are we fighting White Roos now? Is it time? Uh, probably, probably soon. They are the main big chunk of stuff, and they also now ruled by a kid who sucks. So I mean, it, if any time's a good time, it's uh. They're the last feather in our hats. Oh well, we, we died. There we go. <gasps> we have uh finally died. King Helgi has crossed the door to the the worlds of the spirit at 69 years of age. <laughs> uh, he died of old age, although quite famous for his sharp intellect, he could not outsmart Hell. King Rurik ascends to the throne, a formidable duelist. Many expect him to excel in tournaments and whoa, personal whoa, whoa, combat wait. alike. Were we, were, were we known for our intellect? I, I mean, I, I, I think that's just because we were quick. <laughs> Thank we you. We were, we were quick. We weren't learned, though. I see. We had street smarts, <laughs> you know. Uh, a lot of people paying their respects in the chat. Thank you. Thank you. As they should. Rest in pieces, King Helgi, and all hail King. Yeah, Rurik King Rurik the second. the second. He is established level of fame, dutiful, and has fought in two wars so far. This is this is you, this is us. Whoop whoop. Continue as the, as King Rurik. So now that we died, we probably want to do some housekeeping. Uh, ooh, what title do we have that could have a special succession type? 
did we lose anything? It didn't say we did, so... Check if Pentamad is suddenly Oh, we have the Kingdom of Vladimir, somehow. I don't know where that came from, but... <laughs> I think the partition just... might have created it, but given it to the primary heir, so it was fine. So uh, we can we can make this one also elective, uh, which is great. Uh, and then we can we can raise a runestone in honor of our dead father, uh, which we absolutely should. Which we're definitely gonna do. Uh, we should probably, with our newfound money, search for a a real physician. I think because our a real, oh, well, a real we, can, we, we can appoint uh, the old one. Uh, Not that sketchy guy we found on the streets. <laughs> Yeah, well, we can't find him again and appoint him. He, he did eventually actually learn from our, us letting him get educated a bit. You, sir, you're a doctor now. He became a, a novice physician, so he's actually not that bad. That's uh, good. So we can make him Congrats, our physician. Sir. And from there, what else we got to deal with? We have to nominate successors for the kingdoms. Uh, probably not going to do that. I mean, what are our kids like? They look... What? We have Elin, Gurun, Edla... Chicks. And Ingrid, yes. Only daughters. So what I'm imagining is that they might be uh, nominating someone, uh, one of our brothers. So mm. I'm going to wait to see what our vassals do. For life styles, uh, diplomacy is our jam, apparently. We're Whoa. a big family guy from the looks of things. <laughs> uh, we could, So all of our friends give us better relations. We can befriend people through schemes. Our children get better things. Personal schemes, six chance against family is good. Sound foundations. Each living child gives you one random skill point. So... That's basically like pump out as many kids as possible and you get better. Just slightly contrary to the, you know, tribal lifestyle we probably want to leave, but we do have everything as elective, so we're probably not too screwed by that. But I love playing uh, with the diplomacy lifestyle because they you are just very fun. You just aggressively friend everyone into doing whatever you want. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to take uh, the majesty focus just because I want to get that uh, plus one prestige uh, yeah. every month. Uh, but we can still invest perks into any of these, which I is mean, good. We may as well get the Patriarch uh, Yeah, thing just then. to get the trait, because we're nearly done. And it's a pretty good... The last two there are pretty good. Ooh. But then I would say, uh, yeah, we take a new track, Why can you not marry? Oh, you're a eunuch. Well, that really sucks for you. So that betrothal's kind of never going to... Sorry, uh, <laughs> Sorry Knut. I mean, I guess... You lost your Knut. <laughs> yeah. Knut lost his Knut. Uh, my man... Definitely not going to be getting married to anyone anytime soon, I don't think. Uh, so we also should uh, probably do our council up again. So, ooh, wow, people really... Oh, no. Our... So hmm. so we're not going to make her our spy master again, because she is our nemesis, apparently. Oh. Uh, awkward. Which is not great. I don't I don't really know why, but you... she she is. She hates us. She just hates us. Uh, probably had some fights whilst you know before he got the title. Maybe she bullied us. This guy desires some chiefdom, uh, which I will just grant to you right away because I don't care to keep all of these crappy pieces <laughs> of land. I just I just want my vassals <laughs> to not murder me. Uh, okay, so we need a spy master that's not going to kill us. This guy. You can be our steward, I think, because you. Or, or, sorry, our chancellor, because 19 is actually pretty decent. Yeah. That's very good. Uh, no one's that great at intrigue that's also one of our powerful vassals. I think we'd rather take that guy that actually likes us and is 18 because yeah. I'm not trying to die today. I would rather. It's our uncle as well. It's, our, it's, it's Uncle Rod. It's Uncle Rod. Who we were trying to kill before. It's but, Rod. Come back to be our spy master. But that's fine. So Rod can be our spy master. Marshall wise. We can we can make her our marshal. It doesn't really give her much. Like she can't like backstab us like the spy master yeah. position, but it will keep her a little bit happy. She still absolutely hates us just for the minus one hundred and twenty for being the nemesis. Her marshal's nothing to really write home about, but uh, we'll take the hits. Yeah, and this guy is also this guy is good at stewardship, so you can be in there. A lot of people really want seats on the council and really didn't like our the opinion of predecessor. Not great. But this is where being. Uh, diplomat is gonna come in handy because we can befriend. Yes, and it's also it, 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 like uh, the the opinion will uh, increase by one point or eight point four seven per year, I think. So that's pretty fine because that means you know it won't be that many years before that minus forty three kind of goes away. Yeah. But until then, yeah, everyone kind of not not super happy with anything about us as a person. Oh, what do you, you, you want something really... as well? Why does everyone want? Oh, you want Rod to be your vassal, uh, but I kind of don't want Rod to be yours, because 
I, I want Rod to be our spy master. Uh, chat points out, if Adelina's going to hate us 100 anyways, we may as well find a better marshal, and TBH, I agree. Yeah, I mean, there's no one else that's really that much better. Yeah, but there's, like, I was 17. 17, yeah, but we... She's uh, 10. But, yeah, but it's more just, like, our, our other powerful vassals. I'd rather put them in, like, to get rid of at least a minus 40, right? And the, Because the opinion of predecessors will sort of take care of itself over time. But they also suck. It's a... Uh, I Tough mean... One. Do we? I mean, uh, we'll just go for the stack the marshal off. I would say the stack. Adelina is always going to hate us, so Marshall's the one place where you, well, you want stacks everywhere, but Marshall, it's so critical. So from the looks of things, people are mostly nominating our half-brother Pentamat for things. Um, our daughter has become an adequate bargainer, which is not that that great, I'll be honest. Uh, <laughs> But she is in. She is a, like a genius. She is intelligent, at least. Sounds like and the has worst. That's a pretty decent diplomacy. Worst title of like a resume. Like I am an adequate <laughs> bargainer. <laughs> yeah, not not that great. Uh, we can we can marry her to our cousin, sure, which is in, who is intelligent. Can we can we make a matrilineal marriage? Oh, we can because we want to. Yeah. Oh, I mean they're the same dynasty anyway, but just out of principle, going to be matrilineal. Just out of principle. And like that should they should have a really good chance of keeping the. Uh, yeah. The, uh, and the nothing traits. else bad can happen. Just it, it do might, the marriage. It might level up to genius uh, because they both have it. So that's and, pretty good. And nothing else bad can happen. Well, so she's marrying her, what, uncle? Our, wait, our cousin, what is that to her? Like second cousin or some shit? Our, it's like barely related. Uh, maybe that would be fine. Chat, help us out. Any genealogist. <laughs> my daughter's relation to my cousin is what? But didn't it say... It, it says in the thing, if you have a risk of having an inbred. Yeah, theory. but it it, 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 it it doesn't say how much the risk is. Like, right. the risk can be very low. Chat says, first cousin once removed. First cousin once removed. Wonderful. So if she's marrying Thanks, us, Chad. first cousin once removed. That's like... Like, I could throw a dart in, like... Like, in a street in England. And I probably have a more relation to that person <laughs> than the, these people do. Like... This and seems pretty fine. Uh, like, I think that's all right. Uh, we can look through our issues. So our, our daughter and our, oh, our daughter is our friend. How wonderful. Oh. Uh, we will educate you to... Nice. What are you... Yes, we will definitely educate you because you're... I'm trying to get intrigue, but I'd rather you got diplomacy. Ooh, mm, do we want it to be intrigue or diplomacy educated? I kind of don't want it to be intrigue because then she might try and like backstab her sisters and stuff. Yeah. So I'm kind of thinking be nice. And also that means when I educate you... I am very good at uh, diplomacy, so we can. I can make you not suck. Uh, our other daughter, who is also intelligent, wow, she is uh, looking for a good martial education from the looks of it. So we can get our other sister to try and tutor her, maybe. Looks good. Perfect. Convert faith to no. We don't. The children are raising good. each other now. Exactly. Just as planned. And we can designate a guardian for our final daughter. Wow, they're all intelligent. This is going That's, nicely. Wow. I like this. And uh, she's also looking for diplomacy, so we'll educate you. Uh, Too bad we can't have a daughter as a, our heir. We should take some concubines, though. Uh, you look great. Seems good. Uh, more concubines. We can take you. You have. Did you have a kid? Okay. You have a bastard kid. And you kind of suck. Ah, we'll take you. You know, we, we don't mind taking in an adoptive kid. That's fine. And we'll we'll ransom this crappy little guy. Okay, so things are looking pretty uh, pretty decent with our transfer of power now. Uh, Perfect. The only problem we're not endorsed by this guy, but we can, as you said, we are very friendly. So yeah, if he didn't absolutely hate us, start by swaying. And then you can befriend. You, because I want, uh, I want our guy to like us. I'm a master of aggressive befriending. So everyone is voting for our Uncle Rod to succeed us. Uh, Uncle Rod. Uncle Rod or Pentamat. So I'm thinking, <laughs> we, I don't know what our. Will Matt or Rod be? So we the could, true we successor? could try and uh, nominate our like sisters and nieces or daughters, but our daughters are pretty low down in like the, the chain of getting voted for. We can see why, like if we. Because they're women. Uh, I mean, oh, well, that bumps her up to second place instantly just because of our vote. Oh, wow. Uh, why will you not? Because she is a woman. She is a woman. <laughs> she is a woman. Gee, she's a woman. Who could have known? She's a woman. <laughs> and she's a woman. I, I'm, th I'm getting the impression... 
they don't like women that much. Yeah, I don't know if they're ready for a badass. Nordic I kind of want to have her. Like she's Me too. she's intelligent, married to another intelligent person. She's got like crazy good diplomacy. Okay, like, but then let's let's see. How do we get her on the but throne? But it, it's also the case that we. So the problem as well is that. Do we kill everyone else? It, this this plan only really works if we can get her to be like the heir in every single title. Because otherwise, we sort of uh, run oh. into the problem of like, we'll split, split our it. realm up again. Although, hopefully, we are only 38. So, hopefully, we can make Russia before that. And that means we only have one title to care about. Also, chat's suggesting uh, blackmail. Uh, we can yes, blackmail. Yes, you can people force their vote. votes, uh, but it only lasts for f the next five years. Okay. So, I'm wondering. Let's see if we can form Russia that first, and then let's see if we can give it to our daughter. So we we can yeah exactly we can we can uh, I'll just nominate her and everything for now just so it's uh, set up and if people's opinion of us increases they might uh, just change their minds to vote for her anyway. Uh, but until then, we'll just uh, we'll just leave it uh, as is really. Chet suggests that she start wearing a fake beard. Like, because yeah. like, like, like we can vote for her, but because our our heir is still someone of our dynasty, we're, we're still not going to lose anything from the uh, partition split because everything is still under the same uh, same heir. Because uh, unfortunately, we can't change to equal either because we don't have the prestige. No one likes us, and we don't have a the equal <laughs> doctrine in our faith either. <laughs> okay, let's kind of sucks. Let's focus on getting Russia together, and then see if we can get uh, force votes to change for her when we're closer to the end. Yes, that is a good idea. Because one thing we could do if we wanted to make sure we do that is we could switch over to like the the medicine focus and get uh, just get down far enough to get know thyself because that gives us a year heads up whenever we're about to True die that. and then we can try and it will probably be a little too late to blackmail people properly by then but we can give it a shot at least we'll at least have a heads up to try and manage something yeah because if we were to look at reforming the faith for instance and we try to we make it equal we'd need five thousand piety um and yeah we are Fighting our own faith for our holy sites, too, is a bit of a nightmare. Yes. Also, that's going to tank our fervor a bit as well. Yeah. Um, so it's probably unlikely. It's more likely for us to convert to a different faith. I don't think... I don't know what faiths there are nearby. I don't think any of them are equal, though. I'm pretty sure most of them are just normal tribes of being, like, male-dominated, I'm afraid. Uh, but we might see maybe some Catholic heresies pop up or something, and we can uh, convert to, like, Cathar or something, if that heresies. appears. Heresies. Heresies. So I think we have to start getting... Yeah, like, there's pretty, most faiths in pretty much everywhere are male-dominated. I don't actually know which faiths... Oh, okay, if we became Buddhist, we could do it. Um, Chad also says if you flip to the Finnish faith, uh, you can grab the holy sites there. Also, actually, if, if we convert to Buddhism, a, a fair number of our vassals would actually go with us. <laughs> Should we convert to Buddhism? This is a chat level question. We, we, we need we need a thousand uh, like piety, so we 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 we, are, we would have to work towards it. But uh, it's definitely it's it's doable. As chat points out, that much piety questionable is, idea. The, that much piety is just a few poor guys in prison. Oh, Cathar does actually exist already. So uh, that one would need two thousand because it's uh, a different religious family and uh, various other modifiers. But on the plus side, people. The rest of our vassals would be more willing, and that would also allow us to start allying with like Catholics and stuff, because they only uh, they're a, I don't know if they're like a full heresy or not. I think they're only hostile instead of evil, because they have the, the the same teachings of Jesus. Okay, your, so your, your boy JC sounds like we need to start farming piety. Yes, if we want to do that, then I think once we finish the problem is we have like really low learning, uh, so we're not getting that much piety per month. Uh, so I think it might be something that's going to be hard for us to achieve in this lifetime. We would have needed to sort of pre-plan with raising one of our kids. Can we just burn a lot of people? Well, in we can prison? switch to the learning uh, the trees, and we can start going down theologian, and that does stuff like. Uh, what about killing people in prison? Yeah, we can do that as well, but we don't really have. Uh, that's still not going to get enough. We only get like fifty piety a pop for that. So yeah, it's... but that's just what like a hundred prisoners, two hundred prisoners. True, uh, but also uh, like eventually you can get. Uh, like, if you get the profit perk, then you get 50% discount on faith creation and reformation, which is pretty Ooh. nice. But uh, we don't have that yet. Uh, we'd have to... <laughs> we don't have that yet is the understatement of the year. <laughs> yeah, we'd have to very much pick it up. But I think we can just try and get some uh, passive piety gain for now. Uh, and we can just go and look at executing various people. I can tell you Chad is into this plan, and so am I. I want to become... To become, become Cathar. 
I kind of want to become Buddhist Vikings. Okay, but chat, would you rather become Cathar or Buddhist? But Buddhism was cheaper, no? Uh, Buddhism was cheaper. Uh, the problem is, is it's so it, we've got to also keep in mind the different uh, like doctrines and and tenets would get out of it. So if we converted to uh, the Nanjigos one, they are they have monasticism. Uh, Esotericism, so make everything uh, with like they really like learning focused uh, kids yeah. and pacifism. So we cannot declare holy wars or raid, which okay, is kind of not great for us. We better wrap up Russia first. Yeah, like there's I I, I don't know. Everyone wants us to reform to bomb. We could go to the Taoist faith as well. That's also doable. Uh, they are less peaceful. Uh, they have better uh, conversion uh, and they have communion. So that's slightly less uh, different. What about Bonn? That's what uh, Chad is uh, showing for. Let's have a look. I can't actually see it on the map. Uh, bon, 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 bon. 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 That's um, that has human sacrifice and sky burials. That's that's cool. That would be a lot of piety because Oof. it is. Uh, wow, that is. Okay, so it's because like because it's it's the the doctrines are very different to ours apparently. I see. I see. Uh, but. Yeah, and if we can do that, we can just reform our faith, probably. Chat says two things. One, they say that the um, uh, apostate perk is better because it's a 75% reduction. Uh, Which perk is that? Is that in here? Uh, apostate. Um, chat, holler at us. Where, Where can we find it? Where is this apostateness? Is it in diplomacy? Like, I would assume it's a learning thing, right? Yeah, but I don't see it. Me neither. Scholar, it Scholar. says. But, uh, oh, there we go. Apostate. Uh, Faith conversion. Oh, okay. So well, that, we could get to that way quicker. So if we quicker. go down Scholar, we can do a cheaper conversion at least. And yeah. then we can probably convert uh, basically And anything. that's only three points down. Yes. And then, I mean, and I can't, like, if anyone can do quick math, what's 75% of, like, 8,000? Because that was how much it cost to do, like, the... Uh, born? The born faith. We could also go to, like, for, like, Miscellanism, which has, like, carnal exaltation and incest and... Uh, stuff i'm into it how much does it cost that's only that's surprisingly cheap cheap um <laughs> that's surprisingly cheap and a lot of people would convert and the other the people that wouldn't it's just because they don't really like us uh but they're gonna we, love us if we they're make, gonna love us if we make sure all of these people like us they would all convert with us we'd then be back right into the the pain of like trying to uh convert all of our counties again but theoretically uh because this is a Organized faith will actually be able to convert quicker. I mean, carnal exaltation, divine marriage, esotericism. Sign me up. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, and let's see. So, and they, they have, they have, they have bastards, monogamous marriage, divorces, unrestricted marriage. Family members can can marry. You can get proper in, inbred. Uh, same sex relations are accepted. Adultery is accepted. Witchcraft is accepted. Kin slaying still not okay if it's a close kin. Uh, Anyone can be a priest. It's a spiritual clerics for life. Clerics can get married. I mean, this sounds like a pretty great faith, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. We're into it. This is the one, guys. We found the faith for us. Okay. This is this is gonna be we uh, need to our target goal. We need to farm. What's what's well, no? Because if you get a seventy-five percent discount, <laughs> yeah. Someone do some quick math. What's seventy-five percent of two thousand seven hundred? It's zero point two five percent. Is the <laughs> yeah? Well, the discount. Swedish calculator but this is how much it'll cost afterwards yeah. 2763 two, seven, okay we're looking at 700 piety that's we can do it. super doable we can do it that's very very doable okay so we're gonna start trying to once we complete the majesty tree that's what we're gonna switch over to we're gonna switch over to learning for that i i am on board with this we can we can make this work Want to try and form Russia, and as you do it, just yep. keep uh, ticking up that piety. So we can start by executing a bunch of people. Form that Russia, don't make matter. everyone love us, change our faith, make our daughter the queen of Russia. In exactly. that order. Exactly. This is going to be pretty great. So I've had you in prison for like 14 years, along with all of your family, so I'm just going to kill you. Rip, thank you for your service towards our. Great uh, reformation. Uh, our great, great reformation will be, it will be glorious. And you know, I think after this, we just host uh, a feast because everyone likes a party and then they'll love us. We're also, also the good thing is as we're executing people, we're gaining quite a lot of dread, which means that if we, uh, like that, that will make people more likely to convert with us if when, when we eventually do it, because they'd be terrified of us. Yeah. But uh, that's, that's pretty good. When see, and we, see, we're already up to like 400 piety. So we we this is definitely an achievable goal.
But we do need to invade this snot-nosed little kid, though. It's time. Uh, we can't invade the kingdom because we've already done so. For the so glory we have to... of Russia. Uh, do we have any claims? I have a claim on some that of it. the high chiefdoms, but I could also... I mean, I can just... I can just conquer the duchy, I think. Ooh. Oh, our level of fame is too low. We need more prestige. We are not prestigious enough to do this yet. So we'd have to go for the claims instead. That's fine. That's fine. High chiefdom of Minsk. Uh... I'm not going to declare war yet. I'm going to let us just uh, see how things tick up as we are getting this new realm now uh, after we've inherited. Yeah, and we're going making sure things are going pretty chill. Kind of Russians. We're doing pretty nice. Let's uh, let's host that feast you mentioned. Make sure our vassals like us. Yeah. Which is always useful. Cheery whenever, gathering. Whenever I've killed a lot of people's friends and families, I like to invite them to a party so they'll forget about it. That's smart. That's very smart. Yeah. It's called diplomacy. We'll learn about it. You are very diplomatic. Uh, someone says raid for prestige, so we can fight some wars. Yeah, we can uh, we can do some raiding whilst we're waiting for. I mean, we could just. Hey and once guy, we reform, honest. we won't be able to raid anymore. We gotta make that is the most true, of that it while we can. We will not be able to raid any longer. But the plus side is, once we do this as well, because it is a like an organized faith, we will be able to also uh, feudalize as well. Yes. Oh, there we go. Our glory is widely known. Uh, I will distract some people, yes. Yes. Because <laughs> uh, what is he doing? He is, oh, he's just desperate and, you know, trying to escape because he's so shy. Oh, no. That's fine. I will I will help you out, my brother. It's he's okay. an introvert. He needs help. He's, he was an introvert <laughs> in a social situation he was not okay with. <laughs> this is how extroverts collect introverted friends. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. They're uh, like, I got you, bro. It's, it's okay. I will, I will make sure that the, the people do not talk to you that much. I have got you. Okay. Race. Right. Oh, we can't do any raiding right now because we're still in our allies' wars. But they're both pretty much done at this point, so that's fine. My concubine is once again absent from our chambers. <gasps> Am I not to her satisfaction? Oh my god, she's been distant lately. Do, do you, you have, have another? another? She has a fornicator. How can you even say such a thing, Rurik? I would never take a lover. She is. She is a fornicator, so, you know. <laughs> she has copulated outside of wedlock, as the description uh, says. Not that believable. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not super believing. Oh, and someone's trying to blackmail me. What are you blackmailing me for, is what I'm wondering. I haven't seen what, what secrets do we have. That we're a witch, and that we are this person's lover. Oh. Are we that person's lover? <laughs> we are, Court apparently. Court Seeress. Yeah. Uh, so who's the person trying to blackmail us? And it's because, uh, I have evidence of you consorting with him. So you're trying to blackmail us because we're a witch, basically. Well. Uh, if we decline, we, he exposes our witch secret. If we accept, he gets a strong hook on us, which Aww. is not very good for us. Um, but then we could probably just try and, like, murderize him. Okay, we no. probably couldn't. I mean, we might just take the hit of the, letting him have the strong hook. It's pr it's not the worst thing in the world. What does he want? Like, what's he going to try to use it for? Uh, well, we're not feudal, so he won't be touching the feudal contracts. He'd probably be using it to, uh... Uh, I mean, by, by passively, it means we can't try and take, like, hostile action, but he'd probably just use it to either maybe make us vote like him in the elections, or... But then we can't vote for our daughter. Yeah, I mean, if we accept it, then everyone will know that we're a witch, which is maybe fine. I think that's fine. Like, All what right. are people going to do, honestly? It's fine. We have been exposed as a witch. Okay. We lost a level of devotion, uh, but all it really does is give us a negative on uh, diplomacy, which is kind of fine. Uh, we are now classified as a sinner, which Boy. is not great. So we need to... We need to farm some piety. Get more piety up. But that's fine. We need to that's do that fine. anyways. It's all right. It's not the end of the world to be considered uh, a sinner when no one else really cares, because we're like, we're on the, like we're the we're the king, so no one's going to imprison us or anything. So who cares? Not our problem. Uh, she's going okay. So this guy's war should be finishing soon. Uh, so yeah, going pretty well. It's going pretty well. Okay, we gotta make Russia. We gotta. Get the pieties. We gotta make everyone love us. We gotta reform the faith. We gotta put our daughter in charge. Yes. Empress of Russia. Boom. No problem, right, Matt? 
No problem at all. For an above average CK3 player, for a like slightly yourself, above average CK3 player, yes. A Goodman came of age, and she's an okay diplomat. Yeah, she's an adequate bargainer. Perfect. Uh, we should marry her off. I'll also marry you matrimonially. Oh, wonderful. Uh, can marry you to. No, you have a broken name, I refuse. Um. I mean, this guy's got a pretty cool mask, so... Kind of tempted to marry her to him. Yeah, this son must do it. <laughs> cool mask, dude. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. Perfect. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, and our concubine has gained the trait pregnant. Oh, nice job, Ingrid. Well done, Ingrid. I'm proud of you. Smate has... Smate? <laughs> Fate has smiled upon us. You remember Smate, right, Matt? Smate. Smate. <laughs> the ye old Smate. Smate has smiled upon I us. I have smated the smating. <laughs> okay, so oh, gosh. I think we should probably we should look at declaring war on this guy now. We can finally do the, the duchy conquering. Uh, we should... Which one do we want to take? Do we have to eat this place? Oh, that's Smallest. way bigger. That's a pretty chunky take one. Take the more so. stuff. Oh, no, it's st we're still not illustrious. It's the next one we need, that's oh, why. We're a bit far from that. <sighs> I mean, until then, we could just go for the ye, ye olde claims instead. Uh, we should get some prestige from winning a war, right? Yeah, I think so. We'll go for ye olde claims instead. Ye olde Trappings claims. of majesty. I stand above my subjects as their sovereign ruler. Ooh, we can spend some money to get some uh, beautiful, a beautiful velvet coat. Uh, we can have the locals fashion or something, maybe. Uh... Or we can just go, I don't need things to legitimize my rule. Beautiful coat. Beautiful coat. Beautiful okay, wait, wait, coat. wait. Let's ask chat. Chat, beautiful coats, peasant clothes, or even worse than peasant clothes. I mean, this would give us some uh, piety. That's nice. <laughs> chat says, coat. It's coat time. Seems pretty, pretty strong for the, the yeah. finest finest coat in all the land. Oh, we're also a legendary blade master, apparently. Wonderful. We're good at stabbing things. Uh, uh, us. Stabity stab. Go right down here and raise our army. And our queen encourages chivalry. Oh, wonderful. Excellent. There we go. And, I mean, we can just siege down his capital and see if we can get him, I think. That would be a pretty nice... That would be a very nice, a quick way to... Spend it. Oh, okay, so we have swayed our guy a bit. He likes us a bit more now. Uh, we'll keep swaying him, though, because he's only at plus eight, which isn't very much. Yeah. Or we could move on to one of our counselors, to be honest, instead. Uh, one of our vassals. Maybe we should do that. Our daughter. Uh, we, You are educated for diplomacy. Honest. Yeah, sure, you can be honest. That's fine. Let's, uh, let's start swaying our spy master. I want our spy master to be our bestest friend, so... Yeah. Once we get you up a little bit, we're then gonna we're then gonna try and befriend Rod. <laughs> and we always like to befriend Rod, of course. Ah, and we had our son. Uh, we could call him after our father, Helgi, or any other names that Chat has to suggest. Chats, any suggestions? We can do Helgi the second. Um, we could do. Um, I guess it would be Sexamat, if it was the sixth mat. Yeah, Hex or Hexamat. Hexamat. That sounds witchy. I like it. Excellent. Someone says Thaddeus. Someone says Mortimer. Mortimer. Jesus. Jesus. Is... <laughs> yes, oh, exactly. Jesus. Not Jesus. Definitely. Uh... Uh, <laughs> Chat laughing. There's Loki. Loki's a cool one. The Loki's a pretty... Tim. Of... I like I like I like Tim. I mean it's I just, do like I like Tim. It fits nothing of this naming realm scheme, but I like it. It's beautiful. Tim Rurikson. Tim Rorikson. Our beautiful, beautiful little boy. My favorite. I that very well-known Viking and Russian name of Tim. <laughs> I can't wait till he has kids and they're Timson. Oh, yeah. The, the, Tim the, Timson. Tim Timson. <laughs> Glorious little Timmy. Ah, and we did. We, we uh, took him hostage straight away so we can beautiful. end that war pretty quickly. And we can go back to disbanding our soldiers and give all this land out again to more random people, because we do not want it. It's great to be a random guy in our courts, though. It is. We're so generous. We just give things away. Like, we're so lovely. Let's see Chat how close we are. Chat loves our son, Tim. 63. We have 63 out of the 71 counties. Oh, my God. By the time we finish taking White Rus, we will be... We will be set up very nicely, I think, next session to try and form Russia, and then start looking at uh, 
farming more of that piety but so we can become a stallion. She deserves to know her power. Yes, she is also now a witch. Excellent. <gasps> witch coven! Witch coven! We will probably be looking at making a nice little witch coven. Ooh, and you are handsome. Let's I love the idea that. of having all daughters and they're all witches. I would I would like that as well. That would be I super would like cool. to have a, a little little witch coven uh ruling our realm. Uh, you know they would get up to some hijinks. So Rod is pretty much likes us now, so I'm gonna try and <laughs> Thanks for you. liking us, Rod. Thanks for liking us, Rod. Hundred percent success chance. Rod is gonna become our friend in nine months. One hundred percent success chance of being friends with Rod. I love it. Okay. But uh looks like last couple of minutes, so uh, yes. think I'll uh pause and take a save and leave it leave it here. Yes, thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, we will be back next week to get up to, to for another Wild Wednesday. <laughs> another but Wild Wednesday. We're gonna we're gonna form Russia, maybe become some other even more exciting religion. Yeah. Install an empress. All kinds of things could happen. Try witch and install coven. our empress. Try and make a witch coven. It's gonna be a wild ride. Yes. Thank you guys for watching. And Troy says thanks as well. And we will catch you next week. Catch you next week. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thanks.